Hey guys, welcome to the 87th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use multiple document interface. And that is also called MDI. So if you don't know what multiple document interface is, it basically means that you can have forms inside of forms. For example, if we were to show a form inside of um, Form 1 right here, then when we move it around, we would only be able to move it around inside of this form. If we tried to like move it out here or something, then we wouldn't be able to do that. It would just stay inside of this form. And if you still don't know what I mean, you'll see once we get there. So once you have your forms and your buttons, just double click on button one. So to start off, we have to first tell um, the compiler that we want this form to be able to hold forms inside of it. So in order to do that, we're going to have to tell it that we want form one to be an MDI container. That's what it's called. So we can just do this because that will access uh, form one class. This, is this keyword will just access the class that we're inside of. And then we can just do this dot is MDI container. And we're just going to want to set that equal to true. And all that means is we can have forms inside of it now. All right, so now we want to have forms be displayed inside of this form. So in order to do that, we're just going to create a new form and just show it like we would normally do. So we can do form2, call it f, and set it equal to a new form2. Now before we show it though, we have to tell it that we want it to be inside of form1. So in order to do that, we're just going to do f.mdi parent equals this. And once again, this, the this keyword will refer to the class that we are inside of, so form1. So we're telling it the parent or the container that it will be inside of is form1. And once you have that, you can now display the form. So just do f.show. And you cannot do show dialog for obvious reasons. Like, you wouldn't be able to like click it and then not go back to form1 because you're inside of form1. So now when we debug here and click button one, we should have a form that we can only move around inside of this and form one will be uh, a container and you'll see a change. Yep, and as you can see, this is like all grayish now, it's like a container. And now when we move this around, we can only move it around inside of here. If we move it outside of here, we get a scroll bar. Then we can just scroll over to it and see the form. And like I said, you can't move it out. like. Our mouse, we can't even move our mouse outside of the form. Alright, so say you want to show multiple forms all be inside of this form. Well, you can do that. We just go ahead and copy this code. Let's show the other forms. We'll show three and four. So let's do form three. And form four. We'll just have to call these different names though. Alright, so now what this will do is it will show all three forms inside of Form 1. So now when we click this button, we should have Form 2, Form 3, and Form 4 all inside of um, this one form. Yep, we now have Form 4, Form 3, and Form 2. They're all inside of uh, this form right here. Can't move them out. Now there's one last thing that I'm going to show you before I end this tutorial. You can arrange these forms that will be inside of this container very easily. So when we click button two, where well, we want it to arrange them. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this because this is a container, and then we're going to do um, MDI layout MDI. And what this will do is it will say or set all the children or all of the um, forms inside of the MDI container, which is form one to like a specific layout and the first layout I'm going to show you is arrange icons so now I'm going to debug here show the forms and click this button nothing really seems to be happen happening it doesn't really seem to be doing anything well what um, this uh, arrange will do is it will arrange them when that you have them minimized and that's right you can minimize them inside of this so if we minimize them you can see they just go right down to the bottom. And we can move these minimized uh, forms around. Like we can move them like up here and there and stuff. And now when we click this button, it'll arrange all of these like down on the bottom. 
Yep, so they'll all stay there. You cannot move them, but we move them all around now. Click this button, it arranges them perfectly. The next one is Cascade. And this is fairly similar to what happens when you originally show them. So now when you click this Cascade button, it'll just arrange them. Yep, it just makes them a little bit wider, a little bit taller. But they're all like right on top of each other, as you can see. And the last two are pretty much the same. It's tile horizontal, and it's just like what it says it'll do. It tiles them horizontally. Yep. And tile vertical will do just tile them vertically. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on multiple document interface. So see you guys.